Hi guys, welcome to this official psychic lesson. In this session, we will be demonstrating how to create a new project. The objectives of this lesson will be to create a new project using two different methods, namely the starter method and the non-starter method. After creating our new project, we will compile a new project and run this project. Let's get started. Let's start by opening up the virtual site from the start menu. To create a new project, let's navigate to the Cytec Explorer window, click on File and select New Project. This will bring up a dialog box. Before we complete this dialog box, I want to explain the difference between the starter project method and the non-starter project method. To identify the differences, we need to identify the minimum requirements for any SciTech project. As you can see, to identify the differences between the starter project method and the non-starter project method, we need to identify the minimum requirements for any SciTech SCADA project. As you can see, there are seven items that must be defined for a new project. That is to create a cluster, define an IO server, define an alarm server, define a trend server, define a report server, have at least one user and have at least one IO device. If you have not defined all seven of these items, you will get an error when you try and compile the project. That said, if you choose the starter project method, all seven of these items will be created for you. If you choose the non-starter project method, none of the seven items are created for you. That means it is your responsibility to define each of these items. In the next lesson, I will explain the importance of each of these items. Now that we understand the differences between the starter project method and the non-starter project method, let's head over to Virtual Cytec and create our new project. Let's continue by giving our project a name. I'm going to call this method one soda project description and this checkbox is the important checkbox. If we have this checked then we are choosing the starter project. If we uncheck this box, essentially we are using the non-starter project method. For this project, I want to use the starter project method and I'm going to have that checked. We then need to specify our page template. I'm going to select tab style 1 with a resolution of high definition 1080. And say OK. The next step will be to compile this project. As you can see, the project compiled successfully with zero warnings. Let's choose OK. We're now going to create another project, but this time we will be using a non starter project method. So let's go to our Site Explorer window, 
click on file new project I'm going to call this project soda process and now I will uncheck this box my template style I will choose tip style my resolution I will keep at 1080 lastly I will click OK my new project has been created I'm now going to try and compile this project keep in mind that I have not defined any of the seven required items so I'm expecting the compile compilation process to be unsuccessful so as you can see we've got some compiled errors which is expected so the next step for us to be able to compile this project successfully will be to define each of those seven items. Let's head back over to that list to recap. So this is the list of the seven items that are required for any static scalar project. We need to create a cluster. We need to define an IO server, alarm server, trend server, and report server. We need to have at least one user and have at least one IO device. I'm going to start creating or defining each of these in Visual Scitec. To create my cluster, I'm going to give it a name Soda. Next step will be to create an IO server. After that, I'm going to create an alarm server. Then a chain server. Report server. Let's head back over to our list. I've since created a cluster, I've defined the IO server, I've defined an alarm server. I've defined a chain server and I've defined a report server. I need to now create at least one user and at least one IO device. Let's start with that. To create a new user, I'm going to go to system, define a role for this user. The details of this will be discussed in a future lesson. The username. Again, I will be discussing users in much more detail in a future lesson. And lastly, I need to create one IO device.
I will explain all of this in a future lesson as well. Let's head back over to our list. At this stage of the lesson, we've created the cluster, defined an IO server, trend server, IO server, alarm server, trend server, report server. We've created one user and it and have created one I I'm now going to compile this project and I expect to have zero errors and zero warnings. Okay, I've got one warning detected and it's giving me an error regarding allowing RPC. To clear that warning. I will set that parameter. Compile again. And there you have it. We've compiled our project successfully and we have zero warnings that have been detected. I'm now ready to run this project. And there you have it. We've created a new project in Visual SciTech and have compiled the project successfully. And the project is now run. In conclusion, we've created a new project. We compiled our new project error free and we've executed our new project successfully. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next lesson.